I can make a voiceover telling you what I did with these harvested bell peppers, but you can see that for yourself. Instead, I'll tell you why I started designing pots and planters. I always knew I wanted to create something and share it with the world, but what? From the age of five, I wanted to be a cartoonist, but drawing wasn't enough for me. In high school, I found painting and loved it. Entered college as an adult and saw a graphic design degree with my name on it. One of my professors, who was a visual artist, came to me after seeing some pictures I had taken and thought my major should be photography. At the end of the day, I loved all of these things. But how could I use them to create something that I could offer to the public? Then I became a plant mama and I bought one plant hanging in a plastic planter. It was this horrible shade of green. It didn't say anything about me specifically. And of course, the plant was gorgeous and I nurtured it for as long as I could. But then it died. And I took it out of the planter and I realized I couldn't use this plastic planter for anything else. It didn't fit in with anything around my home. And then it dawned on me that the pots and planters that I would see in different stores never spoke to me. I didn't see my style, so I used my artistry, talents, and skill to create an item that was aesthetically pleasing to one's style, that sent a message to those around said person and was fully functional. Thus, Precious Pots was born. This is something that I love to do. And I'm sorry that I'm not the trendy, viral content creator that makes you spend money on things you don't need, nor am I an algorithm that can push all of my content straight to your feeds. And whether you decide to visit my shop, make a purchase or not, it's okay, because this part of my journey will always be a story that I love to tell.